back to another video it's crafts with rfm and for this video we're going to be making a book organizer so that you can have all of your books um, organized and not laying around everywhere so you will need a cardboard box or some kind of cardboard um, i've got this very big box but we're not going to be using all of it um, then you will need scissors a hot glue gun hot glue gun sticks um, you will need um, paper if you want to decorate it, you will need a pencil, and then again if you want to decorate it, you will need um, coloring pens and pencils, and um, let's get right into it. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is take one of my books, which I want to have in my pile, so I'm just going to use this math book and lay it down on top of your cardboard and then you can decide how big you want to make it so um what i'm gonna do is get a pencil and i want it to end a bit further than um so i have it all the way lined up with the corner and at the bottom here as well so i want to have a bit of extra place for larger books. So I'm going to stop it there. Then I'm going to move this up and I'm going to draw um, a whole line by that area. Okay. Then it's your, your choice if you want that some of the book is sticking out or if everything is covered. I actually want that some of, uh, like a part of the book is sticking out. So first I'm going to just finish it off like this and then later on I'm going to basically cut across like that okay next thing you want to think about is turn it inside and think about how um, thick you want it so um, that's definitely going to be important so um, make sure you don't forget that too Okay, so what we are first going to do is just cut out this um, rectangle or square, I think it's more rectangle, and um, let's first do that. Okay, so now it's your choice. Um, I'm going to do it um, this way, however you guys can definitely decide. So it's folded here now, I've cut everything out except for um, this place I haven't cut. So what I can do now is make a box here, how thick I want it, and um, then make it that thick. So what I'm going to do is basically cut all around the whole box, and um, I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I made a small um, mistake, but it's not a big problem. So how I cut this here, I want this still to stay here. And then I still have to also cut, because here it's shorter, so I want to cut that all the way around and um, make sure I do that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do now is take my hot glue gun and um, basically go in a line here again make sure that you are bringing extra careful when using the hot glue gun because you can burn yourself i do need an extra stick so i'm going to get that okay okay make sure that it's totally stuck before you start cutting out this bottom bit um, because if it's not you may burn yourself or even um, have your whole project ruined so make sure you check if it's totally dry so it should be white basically and um, touch it it should be um, totally like this area um, you guys couldn't see that um, it was slightly sticky when I touched it, um, but it's totally um, not st um, like sticky. Um, what I mean by that, it wasn't hot. 
So the way to test this is very easily take another stick and place it by the area where you did and then look at the top of the stick and nothing should be there. If there's something there, um, then I would recommend to wait a little bit. So I'm going to cut this off, um, this area, and then I'm going to continue. Okay, so now we can continue. It's um, done basically. Um, the basics. So it's not done all the way yet. So you can get your book and place it inside and see how you like it. So what I want to do is have a diagonal line going across here. A lot of um, dull, um, these book um, organizers have this. So this is just very easy. You can sketch this by yourself. I'm actually going to do like a wavy line. I want it to look quite cute, this whole box. So... Um, yeah, I'm going to just take a pen and do like a nice wavy line going across. There we go. Now I'm going to cut this out and then I'm going to continue. So this is how um, it looks like. Um, I like it so far. I'm not sure if I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Maybe I want to do something else here, or even leave it totally plain like um, this, so one side wavy, one side not. I'm still going to think about it, um, however, now we're going to be doing the front, which is this area. So basically where it stops here, I'm going to cover that with a piece of cardboard. So my box from before, which... I used. Um, I'm now going to cut off a piece and then um, see how that fits. I think this inside area here, this flappy part, is going to actually be perfect to cover this. I'm going to cut it off and then we'll see. Okay, so it fits perfectly across. Um, it's also around the same size. I want to um, Put things here later so i'm going to now stick this again down with hot glue um again and make sure you're totally careful if you're doing this this you can also do with tape however because books are going to be inside it won't be um very strong so i would recommend to do it with hot glue gun um, I'll link some good hot glue gun in the description down below if you want to um, get one and don't have one. Okay, so it actually didn't really stick down well, so what I'm going to do is put, like, um, move this down. Have this here, I have a piece of paper which is folded here so it holds it better. So I'm going to just do a um, line here. So I'm going to do that on both sides and one on the bottom to make sure that it holds even better. Okay, so now we can continue. This is normally now going to work um, because I have the pieces of paper here. So it's going to allow me to fold it down and hold it way better. So now I'm going to stick it down and then I'll show you guys how that looks like. Okay, so it's on um, it is still a bit drying so it's still hot when i touch it here but it's totally fine and definitely now i can pick it up at least so the next problem that i kind of have it's not that big of a problem but it's this little flap here and it's there and it's kind of disturbing so i'm just gonna put some glue um between the two layers so i'm just gonna kind of like pour basically glue down on there, and you press it before it dries. Okay, so 
it's basically complete. Um, all I have to now do is make it nice and cute how I want it. So of course this is again how you want it. I'm going to put some books in it and um, see how it looks like. Um. Okay, so I'm really liking how it is. I mean, definitely is going to fall. Um, I might also put a, another divider basically in the middle or even in like three sections, math, science and English or more sections. Um, but right now I'm going to leave it. If I'm going to do any upgrade, I will put it on my Instagram, which is in the description down below. And um, I'll put that in my story if I upgraded, which I'm not sure about yet. Okay, so let's start making this look nicer. So I think I'm going to start with this side. So Now before we start colouring, I want to um, say a quick word from our sponsor. It's Pick a Pin and I mentioned her before in one of our videos where um, I bought one of her sets. And this time I have some personalised badges um, which I ordered and um, I have a special coupon code for you guys. So if you guys buy over £10, you guys can use the coupon code START50 for 50% off. So I'll have more information about that down below in the description box. Let's continue and let's draw this picture. <laughs> it our box is finished um i didn't design it that nicely i think i just kind of rushed it but that's not the main um thing that we did in this video it's actually creating the box so i left this one like this i made a 3d kind of effect i added some stickers i'm going to um link this box in the description down below because it's pretty good um Row RFM, I have hashtag DIY, and um, these two animals, which I drew in one of my other videos, I will also link that down below. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, I hope you make a cute box. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.